To be honest with you, if I made this mistake on an item that was made of gold instead of silver, I probably would have canceled the order. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin. I'm looking at my screen here. I've just been watching it the last few hours here. We have some folks in here putting in some floor in our house. And so we've been out and about today eating breakfast and whatnot and just cha-ching, cha-ching. And I'm thankful that New Year's, I guess you'll see this maybe on New Year's, I guess. So this is the day before, obviously, for me. And I'm thankful because it gives me this little reprieve of shipping because I have two-day shipping because I wouldn't be able to get through all this today. So we're going to take half of it and chunk it off and get it to the post office, hopefully before it closes today. And none of these are hard shippers. I pulled this out because I thought I had to ship it, and then I forgot about the holiday. I'm like, you know what? I'm, that thing's going to wait <laughs> until this weekend, these big skis back here. So we'll talk about that on the next show, I guess. But I did make a mistake, and it's a mistake I've made before, but it isn't one that I've made for quite a while. And I was pretty upset about it right when I made it. And I'm like, you know what? In the big scheme of things, this is no big deal. But I'm going to lose a little bit of money with this mistake, but it's not going to kill the week by any stretch of the imagination. It could have been far, far worse than the mistake that I made. So we'll take a look at that here in a few minutes too. And we'll take a look at the other things that sold. Let's take a look. Hey, before I show you some of the items that sold, I just want to mention something really quick before I forget. First of all, Happy New Year to y'all. And that means it's time to go get your free eBay supplies if you have an eBay store. So don't forget to go over there. And if you have forgotten how to do that, I have a video about it. And then there's an easier way too. And I forgot the easier way. <laughs> there's a lot of different ways to get there. But if you maybe I'll put that video up right here and you can do that. And then there's another way that I learned from somebody. Maybe it was pick and roll. At any rate, I'll put that up there as well. So, and I decided I wasn't going to do a New Year's resolution video or a goals video because so many folks do. But I am curious out there if you do have any resolutions or reseller goals this year. Leave them in the comments and we can all talk about them and maybe I'll mention a few of mine. So Twisted Radio Waves. Haven't sold these in a while. These sell for $9 when I sell a pair of them. I've told this story too many times and I promised myself I wouldn't anymore. But we paid $10 for two boxes of them. I think 2,000 in all. Maybe it was 1,000. I can't even remember. I've told the story so many times. It seems like a really, really small profit, but we will end up making over $2,000 selling these things off when it's all said and done. By the way, it's Dr. Demento, Jerry Garcia, Twisted Radio Waves. All right, I'm gonna knock all three of these out at the same time. This comes from the Lost and Found sale at the golf course that we did a little while back. And here's a knitted one. USA little three wood or three hybrid. I guess it's a three hybrid. It sold for nine dollars, I think. This one sold for twelve ninety five, and this older one here, harder to find, sold for sixteen dollars, I believe. So after fees, after shipping, I'm gonna total it up and let you look so far how much we've made on this sale. All right, and I caught a little flack on this sale to be honest with you. People are like you spent too much. The reason I did is because that green Supreme sweatshirt was in there. And we're still going to sell that and it's going to double whatever we make. So, so far, not even selling that stuff off. We've made $36 profit so far just in the first page here. And we still have at least one full tub of head covers back there. Next item is an item that a few viewers saw in the video we did on Commonwealth Picker. The little thrift store video. We picked this one out. Blue Ridge Mama picked it out. I think it was $1.99. It's kind of a cool one. And they asked me how much I wanted for it. I hadn't even listed it yet. And so I was like, hey, you know, here, we'll make you a deal a little cheaper than I would have otherwise. I think it was Jane. Jane, am I right? And then another viewer contacted me as well. And Kristen did as well. And I was late on that one. So at any rate, Jane, it is headed your way. And we made you a nice deal. I think anyways, 20 bucks on this. So we're just going to make a little bit of money and we hope you enjoy it. Before I forget, I just have to show you this gift that showed up in the mail the other day at my P.O. box. Check that out. Is that not perfect for the shed? Bunch of old Texas plates. Looks like they've been soldered together and it is a perfect fit for right up there. Had to go to Lowe's and get me enough stuff to put it up there and it worked out pretty good. What do you think? It's perfect right there. Right share reseller. And this one came from Kat. Came from the nurse flipper over here. And Kat has been very kind to our show. So Kat, thank you so much. And she's had quite a bit of success on YouTube lately and 
with eBay, she just crushes it out there. Just absolutely sells the heck out of it out there. Impressive, especially for somebody who has a job right there. So thank you, Kat. We appreciate it. That's going to be a staple, I think, in the shed for a long time. From time to time, I'll make this certain mistake on eBay. And usually, if it's not a big deal, I'll let it go and I'll just take a loss on the item. And that's what I'm going to do on this one. But I can't say that I'm doing it because I'm just an altruistic, wonderful person. Because to be honest with you, if I made this mistake on an item that was made of gold instead of silver, I probably would have canceled the order. All right, here it is right here. And this came from that golf course lost and found sale as well. It's just this sterling silver 925 silver ring. It is 12 karat GF is what it says. You probably can't see that, but I have my little handy dandy little magnifiers over here. And it is gold filled. So basically it's not worth much of anything. But the silver is it's got a little bit of value because it's sterling silver. And this guy right here was going to be an auction item because I couldn't find this particular one. This type will go between 10 and maybe 15 max $20 plus shipping. Probably closer to the 10 than the 20 to be honest with you. But this one right here, I listed it. I thought I listed it for 99 cents auction. And I didn't. I listed it 99 cents buy it now. And almost immediately it sold, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. So here's the story on it now. I did that, and then I messaged the buyer. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that, because I was kind of still like, am I going to cancel this order? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But I sent him a message. I'm like, hey, you know, you got a great deal on this. I hope you enjoy it. I meant to put it on an auction, and I accidentally put it on buy it now. And of course, they wrote back, and they're like, oh, you know, no problem. Just, you know, cancel the order. It's no big deal. You can sell it on auction. I'm like, no, I'm going to give it to you here. You paid for it. You're going to get it. So they were cool about it. They were willing to let me cancel the order. And I'm like, no, we're going to send it off to you. And I hope you enjoy. It wasn't a viewer, by the way, at least not that I know of. All right, a couple more items in the back. And I think I'm walking down the wrong aisle over here. But it is in the Tupperware bin, the Vermont Tupperware bin. Here it is right here. It'd be an almond colored. There it is, I see it. This one right here. I usually grab these. People like to use them for their lunches, you know, take to work or whatever. But I like them because they're really sturdy. Even for Tupperware, they're really sturdy. Which means you can just put a little bubble wrap around it and you can ship this thing out first class in a poly bag and it'll stay under 16 ounces. So that's how I do that. So for 16, I probably paid 50 cents a quarter or something like that. So we'll make a little bit of money on it. Next item is right back here as well. If I can find it, it is in the Auburn bin. I occasionally pick up these garden flags if they're cheap enough, like a buck or 50 cents. Oh, I got a couple in there. This one is Scooby-Doo. If you can tell if that's Scooby-Doo or not, but it is Scooby-Doo. And it's even got a hole in it right there. Not a terrible one, but a little one. And Scooby right here, sold for $20. It's a Valentine's one. There you go, 20 bucks. Free ship, but you know, if you pay, let's say I paid a buck, I probably paid less, but let's say I paid a buck for it. So we're looking at maybe hmm, 11 to $12 profit on that. And boy, how easy is that? I usually just put it down here on the floor, snap a picture or two, fold it up, all in listing, shipping, all that, maybe seven, eight minutes, no big deal. All right, we're in here doing a little work, so it's a bit messy. We're getting ready to go to the booths tomorrow. Turner, we went to Goodwill last week, and we found that was one of the movies, your Purple People Eater movie sold, and that is The Wizard of Oz. Do you like The Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And that one is sealed, isn't it? New and sealed? Yeah, and it sold for $5 plus shipping, and we paid 50 cents. So that's enough money for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. You got it, buddy. Thank you. Bye. I have a video game that is one of the last ones that came from our $100 buy. We're way, way into the profit right here. Lollipop Chainsaw. Interesting. $18.95. I hear Turner. What's up, bud? All right, Turner wants me to go watch him play one of his new toys. So I'm going to do that right after I grab this one right here. And this right here, Callaway, but this one is a, it's not a club head cover. It's a golf ball retriever cover, which I listed this one. I was the only one that had one listed. It sold for $7 plus shipping. So we'll add that to our total right here. And you see right here, this tub right here has got quite a few left. 
And then this tub up here has got some in it as well. Before I forget right here, this is the Misfit that we put out. If you'll notice, Fleet is upside down and backwards right there. And this one has sold for $127.50 plus shipping, and it's headed out to Christine. So I can't thank you enough. All that money is going to be given away in the coming month, months, hopefully month, on the Commonwealth Picker channel, Christine. So thank you so much. It is going to go to some great places for sure, and uh, we're excited about this. Reagan's getting excited about it. She's like, I want to... I want to do that when are we going to do that when are we going to do that? <laughs> like i'm just trying to get through so much stuff right now we will get to it for sure and put it on that channel so thank you so much christine we appreciate it hey that reminds me i am going to put out one more of the uh first edition mugs on auction as well and of course those sold out but i kept some back just to do this kind of stuff with and to give them away to different people and whatnot so anyway we're gonna put one of those on the 12 days of christmas i know it's after christmas we're kind of extending it getting a big giant pool of money that we can give away so thanks again all right this one was on our sale because this has been around for a long time because we sold so many of these but some of them just didn't sell so this one's six dollars and 74 cents plus shipping all pure profit we were in the profit more than a year ago on these guys right here so you know i'll take it. it's about a five dollar profit so another item, you've probably seen it back here for a long, long time. And I don't know, when I looked at this the other day, I'm like, how would I even list this thing like this? It's new, but it's not. I didn't list it as new. It's dirty. It's got dust. And I, I should have probably cleaned this thing. I don't know why I didn't, other than I have my boy take pictures of the hat sometimes. And so he probably took pictures of this hat. And then I'm looking at him like, well, he's already got pictures. I'm like, I'll just list it cheap and see what happens. But... Finally sold for a little under $14 because it was on 25% off. Nice hat. Just somebody's going to have to go in and clean it. So, I don't know. Whatever. It's gone. I made a little bit of money. This one, Under Armour. This one's in really good condition. Sold for $17 plus shipping. And I believe this is from one of those sales where I bought a bunch of this stuff for a buck a piece in the early summertime. So, it's a nice little $14 profit or so. Maybe maybe $13.50 couple of tiny little travel backgammon magnetic pieces just two so for six dollars so we make you know maybe just a hair under two dollars every time we sell one but you know there's 15 15 different sales right there at two bucks a piece is 30 bucks just might take you forever and a day to sell them <laughs> but it's only one listing i guess and the shipping is super super easy this is a freebie and I thought it would sell better than it did. It got caught up in our 25% off sale for everything that's been in the store for over a year. And it is first class. It's really, really light. It's probably right at 12 ounces, give or take. So you figure $5 to ship this thing. It sold for 15 bucks. So it was free, sold for 15 bucks, three, eight. You know, you're making seven fifty to $8 profit on this guy right here. Seven fifty, probably, something like that. It just, it's kind of neat. You know, it's made in the USA, it's Reebok. And it's got the great colors, but it is just so plain Jane. Doesn't have Reebok, doesn't have USA up here. And so, you know, it's just a hard seller. But it was free, and I'm making, you know, seven, eight bucks on it. And a pinball, $2.99 plus shipping. You know, as I'm looking at this stuff, there's not a lot of great stuff. I looked at my sheet here, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I have made a ton of money. But really, a lot of this stuff's going out over the weekend. So a lot of sales, but the first little batch here... Just a bunch of sales but you know what i'm happy with that especially this time of year because i'm trying to get rid of that old stuff and get the new stuff rolling in for the new year as i go through that death pile out there so any sale where i'm making some money is good at this point and clearing out some of this old merchandise on this sale that we're doing is a good idea too so let me know have you done any sales kind of clearance sales lately getting stuff out the door let me know anyway thank you all for joining us we hope you have a wonderful start to your new year and thank you again for coming by and spending your time with us. And we'll see you next time. All right, we're getting some work done in here. Lou Ridge Mama's been working. She's been pricing stuff for the booth. Turner's been working on that bag of Doritos. <laughs> <Cheering up. laughs> and Reagan's been pulling orders. All right, first of all, she's been filling these things up. We got a huge new order, and we are full of every single size. So if you missed out on yours at Christmas, they are all stocked up. Two boxes full, huh, Reagan? Mm -hmm. Every size has got a bunch. Yep. Okay, what'd you sell out of your store? Margaret got a sticker. Commonwealth Picker sticker? Uh, Barbara got a Commonwealth Picker gray shirt. Sean got an Inman. Erica got a Inman Plus sticker. 
and Russell got an Enemag plus Enemog. An Enemag and an Enemog. Nobody bought your flipper sticker, huh? Nope. Not this time? Just Ivan last time? Yeah. All right. Lots of work. Hey, there's like three more orders, but we just stopped right there for today. What do you think? Is that good? All right. Thank you. Bye. And don't forget to get your stickers at CommonwealthSticker.com. Hey, I'm just sitting in here waiting for the kids to get home so I can finish up with a homeschool hustler video real quick. And this is something I just pulled out of the to list bin. We grabbed it at Goodwill the other day. My wife passed it up, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, Blue Ridge Mama. She said, ah, I looked at it and I'm just like, ah, I don't know. I don't know. She, I think she passed it up. There's no battery back. But that didn't stop me. Check this thing out. <laughs> better stop before them chickens get in here national autobahn society it was a dollar 99 i don't know probably 20 bucks plus shipping pretty cool